Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix. Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Jeff again, coming back to you from the Minecraft server, and today is hospital day. So let's see what I have to do here. From my last mining haul, I came away with a decent chunk of iron. So let's go see where that puts us in the ways of of the completion of our beacon here. So let's get back underneath, find out exactly how I got down here in the first place. Oh yeah, it was like, like this. Okay, grab all this stuff. Okay, so I think to complete this layer, I'm probably actually gonna have enough to complete this next layer. I have 12 more iron blocks to put in place. Uh, maybe not quite enough, actually. Three. Come on. I, the switch. The hitboxes of the switch get really annoying. There we go. And then. Oh, I do have enough to complete the lair. I have enough to complete the lair. And I'm missing the very final lair. I have two to spare. Let's go see what this thing options this thing gives me now. So now it's given me, yep, here we go, the power of strength. So right now I'm running this thing at speed. I could change it to strength or jump boost or resistance, but I need one more full layer to get this thing over to the regeneration that I need. So it is slowly but surely getting there. Uh, but let's see, the next layer is going to be, what, two wider than this? two three four five six seven so it's gonna be nine so i need 81 more iron blocks and i can have my final layer and actually have a regen on this tower so that will be pretty awesome when i finally make the goal and get there for the time being let's close this thing up if I want to open or put this stair back. I think I'm going to put this stair back. Oops. So there we go. 81. So 81 minus 2. So 79 more iron blocks are required in order to get this running to its fullest potential. That being said, I went through and finished putting the glass on most of this stuff. Oh, I better close this door. I don't have a door yet. I want to finish the ceiling slash upper deck floor. And does this not go all the way over here? Oh, no, it does. Okay. I'm going to finish this upper deck floor and then maybe work on getting the, the entrance going on. Now, I was almost thinking about having it kind of like a garage entrance because other than that, it needs to be a an entrance that is more... Like, it's just glass doors are normally what's on the side of a hospital. Like, those glass, you know, almost like in a supermarket type of deal. But I'm wondering if I can do something a little bit different in order to make it stand out a little bit more. Now, luckily, I don't have to worry about mob spawns up here because of the fact that these are lower half slabs. The problem is I'm realizing that there's definitely not going to be enough lighting in here. This wall has to stick out because of the fact that it's where my H is on the other side, and it doesn't look good to leave it revealed from the inside. So I'm going to have to do something with that edge, and I'm not exactly sure what that is yet. So hopefully I can come up with an idea for that and get that going. Uh, speaking of which, speaking of ideas and cool things going on, don't forget that I have a contest running right now. Before you ask me about the contest, I have searched my last couple of videos. It is uh, 
two or three Minecraft videos ago that I talked about this contest, so I will try to link it in the description if I remember, but before asking me, Jeff, what's the contest about, and Jeff, when does it end, and things like that, it's all described in the video. The exact end date's not exactly described, but I said about two weeks, so it's been about a week and a half, so there's not really that much longer left in it, but... I'm not going to have it go forever, but once I get a break from work is when I'm going to sit there and peruse through all the entries. So there is still time to enter, and it was a very open contest, if you guys remember. It was a pretty much do-anything contest. There's no specific rules and regulations about what can and cannot be done for it. So keep that in mind. Get those creative arts working. Knowing what I'm talking about and the things that I'm needing are always good to bring some awesome designs and solutions to problems I'm having such as how to make the door uh, things like that so those are always nice things hint hint so there we go I got this part of the floor done I think I just need a little bit more over here and then the floor will be completed now I no longer have my snowman not that I can't make another one but I took away his little house when I was messing with the landscape around here so he no longer has a permanent spot where I can just go get snow because I do need to find out what to make these rooms out of up here as well if I wanted to stick to the same old snow pattern or if I wanted to go with something else remember it's it's not quite as roomy up here as it was down there however I do think that I'm gonna go with like, this direction is going to be the adult inpatient unit, so it's going to be bigger, but I think I'm going to have a small peds area over here, and maybe even put, like, rooms that kind of go on this wall, and maybe up here a little bit, and leave the rest as, like, more of an open play area, and, uh, I don't know, get some cool, colorful things, so here I might utilize, actually, let's go grab that, because it's the peds area, I might utilize a lot of those colored clay that I didn't use for anything else and just alternate colors because that is kind of the way that kids are is kids like colorful things I wish adults were more like that um, I was I work at a hospital that's directly next door we share a parking lot with children's hospital and I did some of my nursing school clinicals at that hospital and I was walking through the the hallways there going to clinical one day and I noticed they got these like murals of snow white and things like that on the walls they have uh you know all these crazy colors and crazy designs and things like that on the floor and i went to a different hospital delivering a patient when i was working at the fire department one night and i walked into their emergency department i looked at the floor and their floor was all, oh crap i didn't come out this way shoot and the floor was all covered with like patterns and it was like whoa and it was like dolphins and uh, it was a, it was a, uh, ocean life is what it was. It was like dolphins and whales and things like that on the floor. And I was like, dude, this is awesome. I'm so glad they finally like realized that kids aren't the only people who like cool, colorful designs. You walk into my hospital, it's like, you know, for the most part, it's bland white walls or that off white colored walls and things like that. It gets really, really boring. So I was like, good for these guys that they actually put in, you know, some some really cool whoops, some really cool stuff for the patients because even adults like this. And somebody was like, Jeff, they actually remodeled this hospital. This used to be their pediatric department. And I'm like, oh, well, at least they still have it. Like, no, no matter what reason, at least they still have that stuff because I want my hospital to have cool things like that. I want colorful walls and colorful... Oh, that's a wool. Where's my clay? There's my clay. So, like, green... Uh, even the brown, purple, the blue, alternate these colors. Maybe even the black? I don't know about that. I think uh, maybe yellow. Yellow. What kind of yellow clay do we got going on here? I don't know what it looks like. It might not look that good because the hardened clay has very strange textures. Oh, no, that's cool. That's really cool for, like, a pediatric unit so we'll do this oh, I just threw that on the ground we'll grab some more of that hardened clay that I have unfortunately I don't have that much more dandelion yellow amazingly because that shouldn't be hard to come by at all just flowers that I have a bunch of around but 32 should be enough for the testing let me see if I have any more yellow flowers I have some of the red ones an oxide daisy what do these give me 
Light gray. Interesting. I didn't realize that they gave me light gray dye. I was making light gray dye for something else. Eh, I guess I'd have to find... Oh, dandelions. There they are. Either way. So I have plenty of dandelions. Let's, uh... Oops. Let's get back over there and see how well this stuff will look with a cool colored pattern. I would need to separate the blues out a little bit because I don't want them to sit there and, you know, be directly next to each other because it would kind of lose, lose a little bit of the meaning of how cool they're going to look. This spider's going to be mad. Oh, oh, thought I, he stopped burning, so I thought he had died. Like I said, I think I'm going to change out this whole H for, oh, you get away. That H is going to get changed to straight up glass panes, or excuse me, glass blocks instead of glass panes because I don't think it, it needs to be inset like it is. I should make another cut through in there. I should cut this down as well while I'm here. Since I can't get up there anymore, I just tore out my my way to do that since I'm now inside. There we go. And... Oh, and for those talking about this not being private because of the windows and stuff there, you can't see in. The fact that there's no doors on them makes them a little less private than the fact that I have windows a couple feet above their heads, but that's neither here nor there. So let's see. if I So I got these blues. What order would I want this in? That actually doesn't look like a bad order itself. You know, I wonder if red would be a good color to have, or just straight up orange. I don't know what the red looks like, actually. Either way, let's try it like this. Um, this one, I'm going to have it stick out there. I don't know how, how wide to have this. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't think about that problem. MZ Game is responding to me because I said hi to him earlier. Uh, I think that'll be a big enough room. Something like this. Give it a three wide door. So did I give him downstairs, or did I give him two wide doors downstairs? I actually don't remember now. There might be four wide doors on some of them, actually. Oh, I just realized I made the break room underneath the pediatric unit. That might get a little brutal. Three. Just three wide doors. And there are one, two, three, four, five deep. Back up top. One, two, three, four, five deep. I don't know if I wanted to do why I did that. I know what I was trying to do when I did that because I had them had them offset. That makes them six though. I think I'm gonna move them. to be like th this would be the room. We'll see how that looks. One, two, three. I don't know if I need that one there or not, but we're going to find out. So I put these here. Okay. That's unfortunate because it We'll cover up that that light source. I don't know if I'd have to go through and put Or should I should I make the walls out of something different maybe because they're gonna be connected walls? Oh that actually won't give me Five deep. You know what? Let's ignore this edge for now and see if I were to have like a door. I could make the, you know, I could make the uh, the doors just alternating colors and have the windows all the same. That might not be too bad. So a door like that. 
And there's one space in between, right? So then another, oops, another door like that. Space in between, and then this purple door. Oops, <laughs> wrong way. That brings me a little past the halfway mark, though. You know, if I did it like this, if I just got rid of this one, I could have this upper area be more like a reception hallway, which might be okay. Those, these doors, maybe even just give it a, uh... No, the kids don't want nasty, just hardened clay, do they? <laughs> As their walls. Oops. Hey, these really deep rooms. That actually doesn't look bad. I oh, know the yellow and purple contrast looks pretty cool, actually. I do need to give these things some light, unfortunately, though. Oh, and that's okay that if I made them, uh, there's no, because I need windows on them. I was going to say, because I can put the, uh, the back, I can put to a certain color. So I don't know, but I think I'm going to do something with this, this alternating color scheme for the children. And I think that they would appreciate that. I would really do like that yellow and that purple that go together, though. I don't like this wall as much. What else would go with yellow? The, gre the green? Maybe the in-between wall can just be what it was on the left. So it's almost got like one accent wall in each one. So this could be like a yellow wall here. And then this could be a green wall here. That would close the peds area. And I could just alternate this again almost um, for a couple of the for a couple on the edge before it gets to the playroom. Because I'd have like you know, this is gonna be a room, then I'll have a room here. Maybe like two more rooms here, and the rest of it is a play area or something like that. Or even those rooms. Not exactly sure, but either way, I think a pediatric wing would be something pretty cool. I'm very indecisive in this episode. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad. It's not perfect, but I definitely can say it's not bad. It definitely needs these, though. That actually looks kind of cool, the way that it uh, gives it a little stand almost that the wall is on. But I am not sure what to do here because I can't cover that one up. Which means I also cannot cover this one up because I made them exactly like that. I could probably move them over, which is what I might do. Make a little hallway back here, but have it so that those are directly... Obviously, they wouldn't be directly in the middle of the rooms. Well, actually, I could make them directly in the middle of the rooms. Hold on. Okay, guys, moved around some things, made them a little smaller of rooms, but it's okay, they're for kids. They don't need that big of rooms. I know it's medical, but I had to make it fit right uh, to give the light in the center of the room uh, and actually have it make it alternate to the next one as well. I also realized that these were top half slabs, which work out great because then I can embed the the clay right up into the ceiling and it looks so much more seamless than I had it looking before. So they might be small rooms, but they're gonna, oh crap, but they're gonna look colorful and beautiful uh, once I go fix that thing on the roof, unfortunately. So this was this color. And I'm sticking with an alternating color scheme because I think the alternating color scheme is more just pediatric-like. So I think it looks good. I think a green 
and a yellow. And unfortunately, the walls of like one room didn't mix with the ones on the next, so I actually just changed it out completely and ended up going with um, two different tiers of walls in order to make it for one even and for two, so it would so the colors would match a little bit better. The clay is just a little slightly different of a color scheme. It's not nearly as vibrant as the wool, so it's everything doesn't go together perfectly like you'd think it would at first glance, but I think I can still make this look pretty good. So I think the green and the yellow go fine. And this is all I'm gonna actually have room for. There we go, up here on this floor because, or on this part of it because this comes to about the halfway point. So right when we get past the halfway point, it's gonna be the adult section, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet, but I still think I can put a couple more rooms over here, maybe to about here and have the rest of this be like the children's, like this will be like a children's play area. And then this will be a place where like they can come like look over the edge and go check out the, uh, the beach and things like that. Um, I think that'll look good, but tell me what you think about the way that the peds area is coming along. And this is probably just going to be a little storage room yet again, just because of the way that, that the size of this in order to keep everything even. And I would have to do, this one's going to be different with the lighting. So I'm not sure. Maybe I won't do anything on these walls. Maybe I'll do, I don't know. I don't know. We'll get something figured out for this. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Progress in the hospital is coming along. Obviously, it's not perfect yet. I need to get some things worked on. But we're 79 blocks of iron away from getting the beacon so that this is a functioning hospital. And I will at one point go back and work on the beach again to make it look good. And so we'll see what we're going to do with all that stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.